Hello ladies and gentlemen from Slide Nerd this is Vivs over here in the last video we started working on our car problem in object oriented java now we made a class car we discussed about its properties discussed about its actions and we were talking about the add gas method in this video let's actually make this add gas method complete it's going to be pretty complex so if you're beginners please pay attention so let's see the problem of adding gas is not so simple for example i can go here say my my car dot add gas 20000 so my question to you can you really add 20000 liters of fuel to your gas tank in your car of course you can't right because there is a fuel capacity which is over here your car has probably some 20 30 liters as capacity and the current amount of fuel can be something in your car say 5 10 liters so you can only add gas or fuel as long as your fuel tank is not completely filled right so you want to make sure that our java program is just as close to the real world problem of adding gas to a car's tank so let's actually see how to do that so here i already have 10 liters in my tank which can, which can be set by amount of fuel as 10 my fuel capacity is say 15 liters so what is the amount of empty space inside my fuel tank it can be 5 liters so I'm gonna say double empty space fuel capacity minus amount of fuel this is 5 liters now the amount of fuel here that I'm trying to add check if this is within the empty space find the remaining capacity in your tank which I just did here by saying double empty space check if the amount of fuel you're trying to add exceeds the remaining capacity so I'm gonna say if amount which is the amount that I'm trying to add is it less than the empty space I have else what should I do so if it is less then I can fill the tank with the amount specified which means if I'm trying to add 2 liters if the empty space I have is 5 liters I can add it right so I'm gonna say amount of fuel is amount of fuel plus tank otherwise if the amount I'm trying to add is 7 liters if the amount of empty space I have is just 5 liters what I do I fill the tank completely which means I have the tank the amount of fuel in my tank becomes equal to the fuel capacity of my tank which is both 15 in my case which means my tank is completely filled this is how you do this in a real world scenario so now let's let's, let's actually put a message here by saying system amount plus was added successfully so if I try to add just 2 liters it will say 2 liters was added successfully otherwise here we can we can print a message that says now your tank is full so this is how things would work in the real world that is find the amount of remaining space in your tank try to check if the amount you're adding is less than the remaining space if it is then add it if it is not then simply fill your tank completely up right now remember fuel capacity stores the number 15 which is the full capacity of the tank that's why I have said amount of fuel is fuel capacity to make this 15 go inside this amount of fuel so in the, at this point we can go here run it control s shift f6 now there is one funny thing we have not specified the fuel capacity of our car so first let's go here by saying my car dot fuel capacity let's say it's 20 liters let's say my car amount of fuel let's say it's currently 12 liters let me try to add 2 liters first control s shift f6 says 2 liters was added successfully so after this we can actually print our fuel capacity by saying my car like you see 2 liters was added successfully and it shows the amount of fuel is 14 now it was 12 initially but now it's 14 now let's actually try to add 8 liters control s shift f6 now your tank is full it is 20 liters so you see it's working perfectly and if you add anything more like say 20,000 liters again it will say the same thing it will say now your tank is full and it's full 20 liters 
So this is how you're supposed to think to make things work as close as possible to the real world inside your Java programs. Now here there's another method which is get fuel level. Here I can simply return the amount of fuel by saying return amount of fuel. Since I'm returning a variable amount of fuel, its type is double. I'm going to remove the return type from void and make it double. So this is now a better way to do stuff, right? Now we have two methods. In the next video, I'm going to discuss how to make this drive method work. In the meantime, if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Have a nice day.